basically I'm taking a trip to Seaford. Um, with this trip to Seaford, I'll be taking future quarters, stuff about trains, uh, that may happen. In Seaford, I've um, been here about an hour and a bit now. Not really much to do here. Um, the next few shots will be either me walking along the seafront towards Bishopstone or maybe a few trade shots of um, class 313s or 377s approaching or, de um, or departing stations. Or approaching and departing, I should really say. Um, that's the main point of the video, it's just about trains, really. Um, unfortunately with work and I have much free time, so as much free time as I have, I'm going to either spend it with friends or doing this. Right, what I'm getting from the residents of Seaford is that they really hate young people. One old couple just spat in my shoe, like 10 minutes back. I'm not sure what people, like young people of Seaford have done, but apparently they hate it. Right, I'm trying to speak so you can actually hear me. Look at all these pebble stones. Um, started to walk in to see if I try to find Bishop Stone, but seem to have been going a bit too far. And I seem to be heading towards New Haven Town, and or New Haven, no, New Haven Harbour first, which I'll be fine with. But yeah, uh, I woke up quite late this morning, so I didn't actually get any like breakfast, so I had to wait till about, got here about quarter to one and then went to Morrison's and got some food there which was very unhealthy because it was like five oat flapjacks and I just had my packet of crisps which was a bit too big for AO. Um, what I'm trying to do is vlog a bit more this year, that was a plan. Like I said I am trying to vlog a bit more this year, uh, more free time I have. If I haven't got anything planned with friends or anything, I'll try and do something else. This looks like a railway track. Not sure if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. Um, it seems like a railway track. <coughs> so, apparently, um, trains used to go down here. Can't know more because that's buckled and that will cause a derailment. But the width size is fine. Because now um, New Haven Marine Station has been closed for some time, since 2009-2012 I think. Probably a lot longer than that actually. It started dying down when there wasn't any people coming from France or going to France from New Haven town. Oh, sorry, New Haven Harbour, so the closed the marine down. Yeah, I'm pretty near to um, New Haven Harbour now. I'm pretty sure I've gone past Bishopstone quite a long time ago. But hey oh. Yeah, I've spent my oasis now. Um, I'll taste them all, I'll probably talk to you in a bit when I get to New Haven Harbour. It took a bit of detour from the station. Uh, station Marks Cottage. Oh, so this is what it is. Oh, okay, I've, yeah, all these ruins I've been walking past, and some up there too, um, apparently are for the Station Marks Cottage. So it probably was, as I can see from the side up there. If I can't zoom into on this camera, doesn't help. But there's a sign right over there. So, um, so I presume that was a station, so there must have been a station along here somewhere. Along this point here. That used to be a station. Oh yeah, definitely a platform, but that platform this is because apparently used to be two tracks along here. Go down there, down along here. There used to be two tracks. So 
I only saw, oh no, a bit of a path from here too. Crumbled away, but still here. So, oh god. What I'm guessing is that Hereby give notice that this right, network rail give hereby give this notice that this is not a dedicated uh, this way is not dedicated to public safe as a foot, public safe as a footpath. So basically use it as your own risk pretty much. But yeah, definitely a station over that side and I can see a bit of a station here. So there needs to be two tracks, there needs to be a station here. I'll see if I can figure out what it was called and I'll put it into the video. I'm gonna say it's nothing better than getting lost. <laughs> Um, I was walking around to see if I'm thinking that there'll be an obvious trail back to New Haven Harbour, New Haven Town. Turns out there's not. Um, you go along the seafront, you head up to the port up there, and then you literally hit the water edge, so you can go fishing, but that's about it. Um, I'm now using Google Maps, and Google Maps are telling me to go down here, because there should be a bridge I can use. If that fails, we've got to head all the way back, about half a mile that way, I think, to uh, Tide Mills Crossing, and use that. So that could be fun. But I don't really want to use. I don't really want to go backtracking too far. But the sign back there says that this is also a trail walk, so I can use this, even though the surveillance signs are making me think otherwise. But hopefully this will lead me to the bridge. Of course, it's over the river, or the river down here, and then it should lead me. Either to, so the bridge will lead, lead me across the train tracks, or I'll be going underneath the train tracks. Either way, I should be getting the thing. That's the bridge. I'm hope oh, I can't see it in the distance. I'm hoping that's the bridge. Basically, if the and no one from the Lewis Council is going to be watching this without any the Lewis Council control of this area. Um, but if you do, if you... I'm trying to make a video here, mate. Um, see, I, see, I made the bridge. I found the bridge. Um, basically... Jesus. Whoa. I don't feel safe now. Um, yeah, what the Lewis Council needs to do is make the signs obvious that there's actually a bridge here. Because I saw the industrial estate behind me, and I was like, oh, I can't get any route down here at all. And I went past a sign that had the smallest arrows down here. There was no um, indication that you can actually go down here at all. This bridge is really, really bad. I'm not sure you can hear it, but I can hear, like, clonks everywhere, guys. It's like, clonk, a few steps of clonk, a few steps of clonk. So it's not really safe, but hey, I'm across the bridge now, I'm happy. Basically, oh, see, that's the hour I'm talking about. They were absolutely feck all of them, but are now on the harbour branch. Oh, I forgot, it's a footpath right next down here. So if I took that footpath down by Tide Mills um, Station Master House, I would have been able to get here fine. And then again, that didn't um, tell me there was actually a trail down here that led next to the railroad track down to the New Haven station. But hey ho, oh, the badge has gone down, so there's going to be a train coming from New Haven Harbour towards Seaford, or the opposite direction. If it's the one from Seaford to New Haven Harbour, then I've got to wait another half hour for my train. Again. But not looking forward to. But hey ho, I'll do it. Where's the train coming from? Not down there, so the train must be coming from New Haven Harbour. So I'm guessing this was not planned by the way. Well, at least I'm on a three mile walk today. No, according to the points, it's actually coming from down here. Shit, that's my train. I'm not going to say much, but where are these signs when I needed them? Hey everyone, welcome to New Haven Harbour. It is the most derelict station I've ever been to. This place is just so derelict. So we've got level crossings which are totally pointless. Only one level crossing is actually needed. The level crossing right here by the station, right there, so it's like right there, 
Like that there, where my finger is. That is not needed. Um, the other level crossing that is up there for service, like when cars trying to get to their work, the ass needed. But this isn't you know you can UK border, but no one uses this anymore. The thing I don't get is why is New Haven Harbour here? This train station isn't even worth existing anymore. You've got a track here. So it used to be like sh even you used to have trains just going here only. And then you still get you get like one or two stuff trains terminating here, and then going down to New Haven Marine down there, which is now shut to public use. But yeah, them sidings I saw earlier, and the Tulse. Oh, it's not Tulse. Yeah, Tulse Mill. I was going to say Tulse Mill, but no, it's not Tulse Mill. Or Tulse Mills. I don't think it's that. I have a feeling it's not. But they turn out to be sidings. Um, because there used to be a few stations around here um, that are now closed Jenks, um, due to, I presume, no one using them, or they're only open for World War. To easily transport um, people to and from France and keeping um, shipping containers and all that. But yeah, New Haven Harbour is pretty derelict. Don't even, not even a border port. Not even a port's open for God's sake. Port's even closed. The Denver crossings are absolutely pointless. I mean, you used to have a carriage siding over there, this used to be a platform and you get two trains an hour to Brighton and two eight trains an hour to Seaford and I honestly don't see the point in this you got that pointless sing um, single aspect signal up there I mean, I could get off and walk to New Haven Town, but I have no idea which road to take, because there's no signal, there's no there's nothing telling me how to get here. So since there's nothing telling me how to get here from when I was walking along the coastline, how am I meant to know how to get to New Haven Town without any help? I mean, it's like a two minute train journey from here to New Haven Town. It literally takes two minutes. It's what the um, departure board says, so it takes about two minutes to get here. But it's pointless. In my opinion, they just keep New Haven Town because that's actually got a point. But get rid of New Haven Harbour and just can't get rid of the station because it's not really used whatsoever. No one uses it. Oh, I do. I'm just going out some facts now. Actually, hold on. Okay. So last year, between 15 to 16, and 2016, 2015 to 2016, 55,000 people used it. Why? The only other place I can think about using this is if you come from other towns to get here for work here. That's all I can think of. So basically, um, what this is saying to me is they all just varies from here. They used to stop here, um, now going to New Haven Town, basically. So they saw a massive decline here in passengers. So explains that but if they're not going to do anything here why have a station here I mean the planet was questions about the future There's only 55,000 people using it a year um, I do what I do I do what George does um, I'll just put an app I'll just put that on screen divide that by 365 days of the year 664 because on Christmas Day it's not over this railroad's not open so 364 days a year but I think it's just mainly used for commutes to work and from work